Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts. We are here in Agrabah. Uh, I thought we would kind of knock out some of these secret bosses. We've already taken down a few, but there's still a few left. We took down, uh, well, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I consider the Ice Titan and Sephiroth to be secret bosses. They do have question marks on their matches over at the Coliseum, but we beat both of them regardless of whatever you want to call them. We took down the Phantom of the Clock Tower, which I also do consider to be a secret boss, as it were. And there's one here that is in Agrabah, which I find to be very interesting. This one is a unique boss in that it's named after someone, I think, who won a contest. Correct me if I'm wrong. I remember reading someone talking about it on Reddit, and they were saying that this particular boss, there was a competition held or something like that, or some kid won, and he was able to pick um, either whatever he wanted it to be named, or it was named after him or something. I don't have all the details. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Google it. But I thought that was interesting that they would do that for Kingdom Hearts, and this is a boss I've never seen before. I've never fought before. As with the past couple of videos, I've mentioned the KH Guides YouTube channel. They they are very, 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 very thorough in their explanations on how to handle anything in Kingdom Hearts that you want to know, including the bosses. So I just want to kind of point out that those guys um, were very, uh, very instrumental in me understanding this. Now, I have not attempted to face him yet. Uh, this Kurt Ziza is what he's called. Ziza, Kurt Ziza, whatever. I have not faced him yet, so I have no idea what the battle is going to go like based off of uh, experience. But I have seen how the battle will go in the Cage Guides videos, so we'll look at that. I'm going to kind of go off off script here a little bit in the sense that they kind of the KH guys has a really like great way of explaining like the equipment that you need um and I am going to kind of do my own thing um I'm going to mix it up a little bit I want to play around with one winged angel or one winged angel I really like this thing um as far as the damage and it doesn't matter about the magic power going down mainly because you don't really get a chance to use a lot of magic in this particular battle so I'm just going to go ahead and leave these things as is and try it out. If it sucks, then it sucks and I'll have to try something else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give him... Oh, I don't want to give him anything, actually. I don't want that. We'll do items. Let's see, what does Goofy have? I'll give him some things. We have some potions, I think, in stock. Yeah, he can take some of these. Stack those up. So I guess, like, somehow this Kurt Zissa like villain or enemy whatever this boss he nullifies your ability to use magic i think you only have a few moments though to like pop your magic and do a summon like right at the beginning and then you lose magic for like the rest of the fight so you got to be quick about it i really don't know if i will be able to pull it off that fast but the one of the suggestions is is a pop aurora or whatever arrow thing you have and then do a summon and then grab tinkerbell I've not, I've not used a summoner once in this game, so I have no idea what this is going to be like, but, uh, let's see. Let's see, you want to go somewhere? I'll ride in the carpet. Yeah. This will be a trial run. I do expect to lose this very badly. Yeah, that's the one. Now, they recommend you to be at level 60-something, but, uh, I'm level 100, so hopefully this will be better. Okay, so Tinkerbell should be helpful here. Great. Thanks, lady. Damn it, and then he nullified my my magic. Okay, so now we have to hit these ball things. In order, I, I don't know if that lets us use our magic or what, but... go grab the health okay knock out this orb I like one winged angels like damage I like its look too there we go grab the health beat the crap out of this thing oh yeah we're smoking him He's like, it's weird. He's like a cobra head with like a crazy forearm body or whatever. Oh, yeah, we're beating his ass. Okay. Bell's still here. Okay. I don't know what to expect in round two, but we did a lot of damage. 
It's really cool that some kid, I think he was a kid, I don't know if he's an adult, but some guy managed to win a competition. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna pop that off again. I don't know, do we just start wailing on him or is, is this a like, oh. That doesn't seem like I can do anything here. I will admit I didn't watch all the cage guides video. <laughs> I didn't, I must have missed this phase because I thought that it was just kind of a rinse and repeat. What do you got here? Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm wondering what the trick is here. I guess it's kind of fun to figure it out. I already know that I'm going to beat the hell out of this thing. Okay, he's doing something different now. Is he going to rinse and rip? No, maybe not. He's just summoning more orbs. Okay, I'm looking, trying to see if I can find patterns anywhere. What is he doing? Let me get a good lay of the field here. Doesn't really do a ton of damage. Stop doesn't do anything. Thank you, Goof. What is your... Alright, fine. You know what? We have to hit him with magic. Okay, that explains why he's dropping all these magic things. I wonder if there's a different type of attack we should be hitting him with. Thunder! 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 Okay, there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Thunder! Thunder! Here! Thunder! I wonder if the shield gets back up. I'm watching that green health bar there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's my boy. One wing and angel. Smash that bitch. Screw you, Kurt. You weird snake monster thing. Cobra head. Alright, he's back to the orbs now. Okay. I'm using this keyblade for as long as I can. There's only two other, like, well, maybe one other secret boss that we can fight, and then we, uh, have the main final final fight. God, Tinkerbell. Bay all day, dude. I was wondering why he was dropping all those magic orbs in my dumb ass. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Idiot. And toasted. Just keep hitting him. Just keep beating him, because why not? That's right. That's right. Suck it, Kurt. He did not. Oh, I thought he hurt carpet. I was like, you better not have hurt carpet. Hell yeah. Now, the only other secret boss that we have left after this, in order of my playthrough, is unknown. And that guy, I don't know if I can beat him. Zantetsuken. I don't know what that is. Defeat Kurt Zissa in Agrabah. Very cool. Alright, I think now if we go to Zain Gummy Ship. Yeah, I have to go back to Hollow Bastion to fight the final, 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 final boss. But we set out to uh, take down Kurt Zissa and we did it. Done. I'm going to go to... 
Castle Chapel. Let me see real quick if this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think this is where I want to be right now. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and save it. Yeah, so we beat uh, we beat Kurt. We're going to fight Unknown in the next one. For now, thank you for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts. If you enjoyed it, you can share your love. Hit the like button. Do not forget to take a look uh, at the description box, by the way. Um, as I mentioned previously, KH Guides, I have a link down there specifically talking about how to take on Kurt Zissa. I'm at max level, so I kind of could have just done like whatever I wanted and, you know, put the hurt on Kurt. That that was an unintended rhyme, but that was pretty solid. So I can kind of do what I want. But if you're struggling a little bit and you're a lower level and you want to see how to do it, take a look at the description box. Look for the link on the tutorial for KH Guides. They are solid. Give them a subscribe because they are like the best tutorials I've ever seen, like ever, on how to do things. They're amazing. So be sure to check that out. Also, uh, there is a link to the description in the description box to the Mark 9 Community Discord server if you want to be part of that group too. You can chat with me directly. So very active in that community if you want to be a part of that. If you want to talk Kingdom Hearts or anything else, be sure to take a look at that too. Um, I also reply to all initial comments, so if you got something you want to say to me, be in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You know how it is. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and uh, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts. We'll pick up where we left off and face Unknown in the next one. For now, thanks again. Take care, be well, and I will uh, see you when we continue. Later.